Hi guys, it's Sonia. Hope you guys are doing good. Today is Thursday, TBT. Anyway, I want to share with you guys. I got some. Um, we are Memory Keeper Decorative Punch. This came in yesterday, but I was in bed. I think I did my video. I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before. And I was, yeah, it was yesterday. I was out for the count. I'm telling you guys, I was so exhausted and my throat is still bothering me. My sneezing, every time I sneeze, it hurts my throat. I'm growing a mustache on this side. My hair is gray. Everything's good. <laughs> anyway, let me share with you guys the punches. And I did, um, I just wanted, every time I buy punches, I always make sure that they work because sometimes they don't. And this part right here might be covered with a metal piece. So I've caught two of them like that. Just as, again, I always try them out to make sure that they're working. Even if, no, even though I might not use it that same day, but, well, actually, I do use it the same day. My point is that just test your tools before you store them. There it goes. Because I know there's been times when people, and I've done it myself, but I've been lucky not to get stuck with one that doesn't work. This is, I got three of them. I got this one. I got this little tiny one, so cute, and then I got this one like that. And then I'm going to share here the paper that came in, and they spelled out the word pretty here. Now I have the punch, the alpha punch board, I have yet to use it. So um, yeah, maybe now I can use it, I don't know, but anyway, on this one here, you guys can see they're using that on the bottom there of the letter T and the letter R, R and this T over here. And then those little wavy lines with those little tiny crosses. Now, these here might be, it is actually two of these put together. So that would be on that letter T right there, you see that? That's that one. And then the little crosses over here and the little wavy lines, which is this, it's there. And there's another one of those. And this is how they have them on the letter T. So they kind of put them together like, oops, you guys can't even see because of my big ass fingers. Anyway, you guys get the idea, right? That's what you are seeing here. And I believe this was just, um, what did they charge me? I still have my receipt here because I just opened the box. Uh, it came out to $19.95 plus the tax and $2.47 shipping. So that's not bad, right? So that's what I paid for these three. And those are We Are Memory Keepers punches. Oh my god. And let me just tell you guys, I went to the dollar store, right? Um, since you guys have been sharing those wonderful washi tapes that they just brought to the dollar store. So I, I went once or twice to look for them. Then I said to my husband, you know what, I'm not going to be running around looking for them. If I find them, fine. If I don't, that's just as fine also. There's always another day. Sure enough, but then today, um, I got up and I was feeling okay. My foots were okay. Not that bad. Um, so I went to the postal office to drop a package off for Atelis. And, um... I have a line of packages to drop off, guys, so hopefully I'm going to start catching up to them. But I have two packages that I have to send out to family members, so I'm going to take care of them first. Um, Atelis, um, it's my little angel's birthday. That little girl she has, I adore her. She is lovely. God bless her. And, um, yeah, we always have our little chat every time on with her mother. She calls me Ton Onya, Onya. I don't know how she says my name. Ton Tonya, something like that. <laughs> She's just too cute and always happy and bubbly to share what she's doing or what she has in her hands. Yeah. So I call her my little princess. So it's her birthday at the end of this month. So I wanted to make sure she had her goodies by the time, um, you know, before her birthday anyway, so she can have a lot of things to open. Yeah. So, and I hope I included everything because there's times I buy stuff and put it in my craft room and then I forget. I mean, it's nothing crafty for her. I bought her like dolls and clothes, but I know that I had bought her something else and I'm thinking now, I hope that I put it in that bag because every time I go, I see girls clothes and I just, she would look, so, I think of her, 
she would look so adorable. Her and my other niece that has um, a daughter also. They're, they're just too stinking cute. I love them. So yeah, anyway guys. So I go to the Dollar Tree and I found, um, I found what I was looking for. And then when I, s I went to go to the register to pay, I'm playing around with this tassel guys. When I went to the dollar, I mean to the front register to pay, I hear a lot of commotion going on, like some banging and then stuff being thrown around. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, sure enough, there was somebody in the store that entered their um, storage room and was just tossing things around. And all you heard was those loud banging to the front of the store. And the manager was trying to get her to come out of there. And all she kept on saying, I, she actually... Um, was Spanish, she was Dominican, and she was saying Allah, or I don't know if she was trying to say Allah, and, or Hola, I don't know what it was, but I was like, what is wrong with you? But anyway, long story short, just to let you know guys, the cops are right across from um, the Dollar Tree. It took three 911 calls before any cops show up, and they're just right across the street. So I said to the manager, how come you don't have the Lynnhurst Police Department, because this is where it happened, how come you don't have their number at each register? Because it took literally took three 911 calls. I mean, by the grace of God, she didn't have any weapons, and it didn't turn out, you know, it was taken care of quickly, but imagine if somebody would have been shooting up in that store. God forbid. Anyway. Tassel came out crooked. I wonder if I have to tighten this a little more. There it goes. I, I'm just like wrapping the wire around and I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. So, I finished it. There you go. It is a little crooked. I don't know if it might be the bead, but it's just going to stay that way. There you go. Finished. Be neat. I did the bead there with the flower, that one there, and then the bead cap. And then I twist the wire around. So yeah, I use this, I use this, I use whatever I find. And I have plenty of them in here because every time I see them, especially at Tuesday morning, I always buy them. Okay, so long story short, cops came, they took her out, and I'm still waiting to pay my washi tape, and then I got these. And you guys have seen these, except that what I'm thinking is about, I don't know if I'm going to bond them because I have that thing that you melt on. For, um, I just don't know if this is my turn black or anything. Well, you can melt metal or the little stuff there on there and just attach whatever piece you want. And I was thinking about attaching it to a regular paper clip and then just putting some gems in here. So what I might do is just use um, just glue and take it from there. See how that goes. If not, then that's soldering. There it goes. That's what I meant to say. So, that that is what I want to do with this one and this one. These two. I don't know about these. These are okay, I guess. But, let's see. And I found the washi tape. You guys have seen it. Um, There it goes. He, he just threw, like, the whole thing in the bag. He did charge me for them, but usually they're, they're they don't like giving these out at the one I go to. So, they'll just pull them off and then just... But he just threw everything in a bag. Poor guy. He must have been so nervous. And they're very nice people, the Dollar Tree I go to and then hers. So and she was oh my god. The nerve of her though to just go and throw everything around in their um their storage room. I hope she didn't damage anything. And she gets the help that she needs. But it's a lot of stuff going out of there. And all I did was go to the dollar store to get some washing tape. And that was my adventurous day, guys, today. Now I'm going to sit here and um, have one more tassel I started in white. I'm going to finish that and probably I'm going to start stamping a few stamps that I got and fuzzy cutting them or just bringing, turning on my whatever that scan and cut machine and take it from there. Look how cute. I just love them. I was going to buy the one that had, I don't know which one. I know it was a cat. I don't know what he had, but I almost bought it, and I was like, nah. I'll just take this one for now. Anyway, so 
so that's what I'm doing guys yesterday um, like I said I wasn't up to it I did manage to do a little organizing here though because I took um, I have all my um, I, 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 what do you call those my dies up on a shelf and I always had to like reach up for them and sometimes it would hurt my foot and I always want if I'm ready to fall I'll knock something over so to avoid that my daughter had in her room to keep her book stored there like a it's like a CD holder so I just she didn't want anymore so let me get that I'll put it in here and I just put all my stuff up on there and that's that's how that's how my story rolls guys that is it for now again I got a date tonight with Ateli, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.